And I think last year we ended up at around 144. That was active duty law enforcement committed suicide. So that is more are dying by their own hands than they're being killed by gunfire of suspects. Travis Gribble, a 24-year law enforcement veteran, knows the mental toll a career as a first responder can have. In the past, it has not been, you know, we're supposed to be these big tough people that none of this stuff affects. However, that's not true. It's going to affect us. Gribble retired in early 2022 for post-traumatic stress injuries. He says he hit his breaking point in 2016, the first day as a SWAT team training sergeant in Mesa, Arizona. I handled that day a very significant traumatic uh, call dealing with child trafficking where we rescued a little girl that had been trafficked for quite some time. I never, because of the culture, never came forward saying I needed help, but I knew immediately that that affected me <clears throat> in ways that I'd never experienced. And he was never the same after that. You know, it turned into night terrors. I coped in an inappropriate way by drinking too much at times. I just, you know, dealt with anger issues at times because I wasn't dealing with what was going on from not processing that call. Now he shares his story with first responder agencies around Montana and further through his organization, My Arena. So when they hear me give my story, it gives them the courage like, okay, maybe what I'm feeling is to be expected based on the trauma that we go through, the events that we have to be called to. He helps every type of first responder, from dispatchers to EMTs, but he also speaks to families. We want to give the families some tools, help them understand what goes through our minds when we go to a death call, when we go to a fatal car accident, a shooting, whatever that is. Gribble wants first responders to get help earlier than he did to prevent the rough road to retirement that he experienced. Day in and day out, those things add up. And that's why we preach get help early and often. Like go deal with this stuff, like empty your bucket, a process it the appropriate way, so then your career can be extended. He travels with therapists as well, providing resources and working towards a change in culture. My Arena has events all over Montana. That if you're still having that call replay in your brain like you're right there three days after the event, go see someone. More information on My Arena or where to find help can be found on our website. In Missoula, Claire Peterson, MTN News.